Hey, ladies and gentlemen, this is Carmine Sabia for Explain America, and Fannie Willis just got horrific news on her disqualification from the Georgia case, and I love it. Before we get started, please make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. Those little things really help us out, and they help our channel continue to grow. Folks, Fannie Willis, we all saw her performance on the witness stand. We saw her lover, Nathan Wade's performance on the witness stand, and it was absolutely ludicrous. I don't think anybody I know believes a word that these two said. It was absolutely borderline insane. They want you to believe that Nathan Wade paid for all these vacations and trips. They want you to believe that she paid him back in cash, but there's no way to show it. But there is something really, really interesting. Really interesting. See, during her testimony, Fannie Willis said she never visited the White House. But the attorneys trying to remove her, well, they sat before the Georgia Senate and they showed White House visitor logs of Fannie Willis visiting the vice president at the White House. That's massive. Now, the fact that it came before she indicted Trump that's even more curious, but that's actually irrelevant to the facts of the matter in this case, which are that Fannie Willis, if you believe the White House visitor logs, and I don't know why they would lie on the White House visitor logs, then Fannie Willis lied on the stage, on the stand, sorry. I call it a stage because she was put on a show. Now, Trump's attorney, Alina Haba, who has nothing to do with the Georgia case, I want to point that out, but she believes Fannie Willis is staring down the barrel of a perjury charge, and her case is solid. I want you to hear it, and then again, please remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. I know some of you are new here. Smash that subscribe button. It really does help us out. We can keep producing these videos for you. I'm Carmine Sabia for Explain America. We love you guys. God bless you. Take care, everybody. Um, so it's pinging from his house all the way down to the condo at midnight, 1 a.m. And then, and he calls her when he gets there. And then it goes silent for four or five hours. And then, you know, early in the morning hours, he starts pinging again, driving back, and then he texts her when he gets home. So, and, and this we, is before he gets hired in November of 21. Yes. Wow. Uh, she's very diligent uh, with the details on all of this. Do you think this is going to be persuasive to the judge in Georgia, Alina? I hope so. I think that the judge has a tough determination to make. I think, honestly, never mind any of it. The perjury issue is something that always concerns me with her. If that is the case, that's a concern. You know, there's been too much inconsistencies. If they have forensic mm -hmm. evidence that's clear, they're going to have to. They can't deny that. Right. Yeah. Facts are facts. I know he made a comment about referring them to ethics. I think that should happen no matter what. Um, you can't play with taxpayer dollars while trying to go after a former president. Yeah. And that's the bottom line. And you also can't lie under oath, which is clearly what happened. Um, Alina, before I let you go, uh, any update on the hundreds of millions of dollars that the former president is due to pay in the New York case? Um, there was a request to make it a smaller amount. Where does that stand now? We're waiting on an appeal. Obviously, the judge was per, uh, receptive to some of our arguments. We appeared before the appellate division uh, just last week. Mm -hmm. He obviously amended the order in terms of allowing the Trump children and uh, Trump family to continue mm -hmm. to operate their business and to get loans, which was a big step in the right direction. As I've always said, Martha, this is going to be a long game. Mm -hmm. We knew we were not going to be successful. We lost before the trial started, mm -hmm. and we're just going to have to push and push and push and hope hopefully uh, have our facts and her case heard just like it was last week and chip away at this. And what's your understanding of when the rest of the money is due, Alina? Um, it's due shortly, but we have pending appeals. We have mm -hmm. pending uh, motions that, that we have to have decisions on. So we're going to be patient and wait. Okay. Alina Hava, thank you very much. Always good to see you. Thank you for coming thank by you. today. Good to see you. You too.